Today, I'm going to show you how to attach the Apple VESA mount adapter to the mid-2010 27-inch iMac. In typical Apple fashion, the custom manufactured VESA mount adapter kit comes beautifully packaged with all the hardware and tools you need for installation. The VESA mount adapter is a precision one-piece design machined from aluminum. It comes pre-drilled for the 100mm wall mount attachment sizes. Most wall mount kits come pre-drilled with several adapter sizes so you won't have to prepare yourself for drilling any new pilot holes. This is the flange that marries the VESA mount adapter plate to the bracket on the back of the iMac. Three additional screws are provided for mounting the plate to the flange. A credit card size plastic sheet is also supplied for unlatching the existing stand. Now let's get started. Take the card and insert it just above the top of the stand. It's very important that you insert the card at a 45 degree angle as shown, or you're going to miss the latch. You should only go in about 3 quarters of an inch. Any further and you've gone too far. When you feel a slight click, the latch has been released. Gently push the monitor forward to reveal the 8 screws. Next, I would recommend laying the iMac flat. Make sure you lay the machine down on an even and soft surface. Then take the provided tools and remove all eight screws and set them off to one side. Now the stand has been removed, the VESA mount flange is ready to be screwed into place. Notice that the countersunk screw holes on the flange must be facing the high side of the mat. Then simply use the eight screws to secure the flange to the bracket on the iMac. The flange should then be held tightly in place. Now it's time to attach the VESA mount adapt to the flange. Make sure the writing on the bracket is oriented on the lower side of the iMac. Then use the provided tool to set the screw in place. This screw is designed to pull the flange into alignment for the screws on the side of the plate. Then set the tight screw in place. If it doesn't bite the thread, you'll probably need to tighten the center screw further. When the flange is precisely aligned with the plate, both of these screws will easily set into place. The VESA mount bracket should now be secured tightly into place and ready for attaching a wall mount. I've opted to use a simple fixed mount wall bracket, but you can choose an articulated bracket instead if you like. Make sure you have set the bracket the correct way up. Simply screw the bracket to the VESA mount plate. I'm going to mount my monitor just above my desk. I've measured the height from the bottom of the monitor to the bottom of the mounting plate. I then scored a line in the wall and set the wall bracket along that line so that I can mark the exact location of the screw holes. Before you do that, make sure the bracket is level. I'm now ready to drill the holes. I'd recommend using a helping hand to insert the iMac onto the wall plate. Make sure that the bottom part of the iMac is not obscured by any objects. The lower section of the iMac is vented to draw in cool air, which then exits out of the slit at the top of the machine. It's important that these areas are not obstructed. Your machine must be vented to keep the interior components cool. My desk is pulled forward slightly to ensure uninterrupted airflow.